Alrighty, welcome back. We're back at it. What I have done first thing this morning, I have come in here. Oh, Aiden's in the house. Aiden's welding on the other side. Let's go over and take a look. He's welding up the same thing as he was before. He's taken off where he left off. And, and basically right now, I see him checking it with his hand. That's a good thing because he's checking for heat. And he's going around just like I asked him to. Is everything still in place? Everything is still in place. He says not oil canned anything yet. He's going for two in a row. But uh, he's doing a good job on that side. He keeps going. Um, I took my time this morning and uh, tried to get some welding done on this side. I've got the door welded up on the, on the face of it, around the edge of it. You can come see how I've made the door look. So I just kind of pulled that together, welded that all the way around. I have some pinholes still left in it. Yes, I do. Um, that'll be when I weld it again. I've got the end ground off and put the piece in. That looks fairly decent. Let's flip it over to the other side. I've got the truck welded in the, in, got this welded up, did that with the, with the steel rod. That's how I did that in there. I took the steel rod and filled that in. Instead of making a patch panel and try to make a little piece of metal and put it in there and weld on this side and then weld on this side, I just welded it all shut with steel rod. You can see how I done it and got it ground up in there. That's how I done that one. So I, so I cheated, I think cheated there a little bit and got it done a little bit quicker just by using the method that I use. Um, I've got this all welded inside here. The edge is all welded. I only ground off the metal that I'm, or the weld that I'm using. Didn't grind off the, the, the metal itself, just grinding off the weld. There can be some places that I'm going to have to go back over and that's, that's what it's called. It's called doing body work. Uh, I'm going to flip this door over. This door open. Just show you what's going on this side, just so you know and I know. So what I have done here, I have not cleaned, I've cleaned this off. I have not welded this edge in here yet, and, and I can, and I'm going to. But you can see how clean it's going to look once I weld that off. It'll look nice and finished. I'll weld that way later and grind it. have not welded it yet. Going to have to bang it around a little bit yet, I think. So now is the time that I'm going to try the door on. I'm going to do... I'm going to try, we're going to try the door on and see what the hinge acts like. I've got a couple hinges already. I've done this one, uh, the swing away hinge. And what I'm finding out, what I'm finding out from this as I'm doing this, got a couple hinges over here. As I'm finding out, as, as I put that on there, the swing away hinge, if I put that in there, basically what, it, what it's telling me is that the pivot point the pivot point right here, this pivot point has to come this way to push that door out that way. That's, what, that's what, sort of what it's telling me. That the pivot point has to be out this way to get the door out away from this. Uh, we're going to try the door on. We'll put the pin in it or we'll put the bolt in it. We'll see how it acts and then we'll go from there. And uh, we'll just go from there. If I cannot, we'll go from there. That's all I can do. So I'm going to put the door on. Got it ground up nice, or fairly decent. Uh, it's looking pretty good. That looks nice in there. I'm happy with it. Let's put the door on. The door is heavy. Yes, it is. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Get back here. Shove my. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Don't get a true read that way. I shoved it on there. I'm not getting a true read. I got a big gap going on back here. I'm pull that back off. I want to put put this pin in somewhat. There, look at that now, would you? There. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. Look at that now, would you? Pin's laying there. It's not the pin, it's the bolt. Got a good gap going on down here. That is that's that's factory right there. That's the factory gap. So to make it better, I have to fix it. Uh, the gap going on here is not bad. Um, it's going to hit there. I'm going to have to take more off and re-weld that. Yes, I am. I'm going to have to take the marker and come up there and mark that again. Uh, my lip is not, my body line's really nice going along here. It's, the tongue is hanging out a little bit here. I have to beat that in a little bit, but it's not bad. There's the door all in its glory. It fits the hole. Let's, let's take a, you stand over there and we'll watch the door open and see what happens. Cross your fingers and your toes. 
All right, let's see what happens. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm just trying to tr going to try to keep my hand at my belly and uh, try to open this door up and see what happens. If I keep. Is it hitting, baby? It, hitting? it hits on the bottom. So we're hitting on the bottom. So what has to happen is you have to be 78 pounds to get in this truck to get through the door. <laughs> That's not true. Actually, yeah. Does it, it's hitting in the front, I guess. It's hitting in the front, I guess. From what I understand, it's hard to tell when I'm opening the door and shutting the door. But what I want to do is I've got a couple hinges here. Uh, the one I made, the swing away hinge. And what I've basically found out from this thing is that the pivot point has to be out here to swing that door out. If the pivot point's out there, there and we got to reach all the way in there to get the door, that means that distance there will, is the distance it should be coming out, I'm thinking. Thinking. I have these little hinges right here. Uh, I think they're off a, maybe a 50 Ford trunk lid, maybe. But they've got an angle on them. You can see they've got an angle on them. I do like that, and I'll tell you why. Because I remember on the cider truck when we did it, when we did the round door, the, it had an angle on it, which it made the door come up. I didn't care. As long as it went to come back, it shut. I wouldn't mind having that door. See how that, watch that hinge go. Watch. Watch that hinge come up. See how the hinge comes up like that? Hinge comes up like that. That door would come up and come away from that, but yet close in the exact same area. If I had two of those, this is the other side. They're both going either way. I don't know for sure which way they go, but either one on either side. Which of the trunk lid is round is what's going on. They had a, like a rounded trunk lid in the back, and they had to have that for to make it work. If I had some straight chrome hinges, some straight ones, I could mount a straight chrome hinge. I could mount it up here, leave my pivot point up here, and then mount it on my door up here. And I'm thinking that that would bring that door up or out and away and up. See how that hinge turns up? It would turn it up, turn it away from this. I could hook it to the door. Pivot point would be there. The hinge would look nice. You could have two, like fridge door hinges or two hinges like that would look nice. Uh, can't weld to that. Can't try that and see if it works or not. So I have them, and I've been looking at them. Then I found these two little brackets. Um, what I've done is I've cut a piece of polyurethane to put in between and put a nut, nut on it. What I'm thinking is, just for... Just for giggles, I can put that on there, tack that on there, and tack that on there. Take that off, take this out. Then I can see if it works or not. That's what I'm thinking. I might just see if it works or not. What I'm thinking is with the pivot point out here, and this piece connected to the door, it's going to pull that away. That's what I'm thinking. It's just hard for me to do that. If I had two of these, I could plunk one there and plunk one there, and then I'd know if I had it or not. Um, with just one, it's hard to tell if it's going up and down or not or what's going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. The door's on. I'm going to take and clean a little bit of this off. I'm going to tack this on just for shits and giggles. I'm going to tack it on so the, the pivot point's over here. And connect it on the door. Pull the pin and we'll see what happens. We'll just open the door slowly and see what happens. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's all I can do with what I have. Um, I went around the door yard and have looked. I got the door looking nice. Everything's looking nice. Um, it's just a matter of making it going in and out. That's all. Jolene's got her safety glasses on today, and she looks like a superstar. Looks like she should be in L.A., huh? L.A. Alrighty. That's what I'm going to... Eh, I didn't quite grind that right, I don't think. Maybe I did. Yeah, it's fine. Nope. Going to grind that a little bit better. Just wanted a little bit better. Just for me and you. Just 
taking the paint off. That's all I want to do. I don't want to take any metal away. Um, I'm going to tack it on there. And basically, this, this what I'm doing right now is just temporary, temporary, and for knowledge. To know if the pivot point that I'm going to use will work. That's all I need to know. I want to know. I want to know the pivot point if I'm thinking it right out, thinking it out right, my brain, if the pivot point's there, if the door will. That's all I want to know. And if it is, well then I know when I get a hinge or the hinge I want, that's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. Jolene's looking amazing today. She's a little superstar, she is. Aiden's come in today to work today. Right back to where he was. Things are going good. He seems to be happy. That's a good thing. Huh? When you get someone coming to work and they're happy, that's a good thing. Don't know if I need them on. I'm just going to tack it on for now. Now, I got this. I don't know what this is or where they come from, but they come from something. I put a nut on it and hinged it together. And I'm just going to take and tack this on. I'm going to move the pivot point. That's what I'm going to do. Just tack this on the door. I can kind of haven't got that on there straight, have I? That matters a lot, I think, wouldn't it? I think it's coming up. Anyways, I should have that mounted straight somewhat. I do not have it mounted straight. You can see how the line's coming down. I got that crooked. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pin out. All I can do is take it out and see if it's going to work. Just like that. Alrighty, that's just to keep an eye on the door. Is that still hitting? Or is it on? Oh, oi, 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 get up there. Still hitting, eh? It's close, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This is, that's going to be a hard one, people. I think getting this door to open and shut. Oh, missed it again. Get up there. Get up there. That's going to work. What? It's going to work. I think it's going to work. A door doesn't have to come open that far. Let's get real. Does it not? Mm -hmm. Just to... It could need... Bending that and twisting that. I don't know if it ripped that. Didn't rip that off or nothing. Did it look? See, I sort of need two. I'm thinking that this could be a little further ahead, just a little bit. You think? Did Did it think? I couldn't tell because I, I, you know, Aiden, yes. come here for a second, old buddy. You just turn your welder off there for a second. I just want you. We just want to uh, somehow, some way. I'm going to get you to, come on over here for a sec. I'm just going to get you to hold the door and just find, find just go like this and try to hold the door in the exact same place on your body where, you open, where it opens up at. So I'm going to open the door up. So if you know your hands are here, just try to keep your hands there, sort of, you know what I mean? I'm just going to 
Open this door up. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, can you swing it, swing it out? Just come out, just pull it out. Try to keep the same height. And I'm gonna try to do the same at the top. Keep coming, keep coming. Uh, cut, that's good, all right. This, that would come down a little bit. Yeah. And that would come out, and that would come out, that would come out. Um, cool. That looks good. I think that, put my fingers back out of the way there. I think that, see how that goes in there? It's right in that little slot there. Clickety, clickety. There we go. I'm thinking that that will work. It's not hinged right, like it's, we're on an angle there and that's on a line, it's tacked it on there, but I'm thinking that that, that will work if I make the, the pivot point here. I think it'll do the bottom of the door. It might even need a little bit of that door where it cut off there, that angle might even a little bit need a little bit of that taken out. And we also have to remember, if we suicide it, it's the same thing, is it not? Still got the same... It's the same clearance issue, have we not? We've still got the same thing, I'm thinking. So, the, the, you know, to suicide it, that's fine to say to suicide it, but it's still the same because you're still doing the same action. Um, so what's going to have to go on is I'm going to have to find or make something that I'm going to enjoy there. That's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to cut it hinge and make something. I went to the hardware store, didn't find anything I liked. I do not want to put that hinge on there and stick that in there. I don't want that sticking out there like that. I don't mind what's going on here, but I really want to make one nice hinge to make it work. If it's on the outside and if it's on the inside and comes to the door, see, there's another thing. When I start cutting that door, I didn't want to cut that door to throw that in there to try it. Then I have to cut it back, put it back in to replace it. Um, I'm thinking what I'll do is, is I'll build, make, maybe, maybe make a nice hinge myself, make a nice hinge that I can cover with sheet metal and come back onto the door. Uh, I can remember, um, yeah, when I was at Bo Huff's place, I went to Bo Huff's place and helped him on a 61 Pontiac. I think it was one of his last cars that he did. Uh, we, but I, what I did notice when I was there working, he had a Model A there, and the hinges on the door went on the door. But what they did is they welded a piece of metal on here and bring it back and then capped either side of it, and it made it look like the hinge was traveling back into the door. It really looked nice that way, if you know what I'm saying. He took a, this piece of white metal, he welded it here, and he carried it back to the door and welded it there, and then he capped it on this side, capped it on this side, and filled it, and it made, really made it look like the door, but that was part of the door. And that, that's what I think what I would do there, is I would make the hinge, weld it here, and then cap it and make it part of the door. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, I think that'll work with the pull away, with the swing out hinge. It's just I have to have my pivot point out here, and I'm just gonna take my time, and figure out what looks best and what doesn't. Uh, I'm going to let Aiden go back to doing what he was doing on the side of the door. Thank you very much, Aiden. He's doing a great job. I'm going to pluck. I'm going to pluck them off because I don't need them. Uh, I know where I'm going. I, I know. I think pretty sure that that'll work. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, pretty sure that'll work. So I'm going to take them off. So now what I'm going to do is see where we're running a, just a short little video there on the door because I really haven't got anything. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. Now I have to get into the fabrication and finding the stuff that I want. Uh, I'm not going to just find that in five seconds. I'm going to have to take some time, run around the yard. I know that these would work. Those would work too. If I had a couple nice hinges that I could mount on the cow and then mount on the door, that would work too. But I have to have these two hinges go the opposite way. They go the opposite way. You can see the angle on each way if I turn it. They just go the opposite way. I can't have that. I need them to go both the same way. So if they both turn up, I need them both to turn up. If they both turn down, I need both to turn down. But what I need is two of the same. That works. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them hinges right there on the floor. Um, I'm going to get ready for Aiden because Aiden's cruising right along on the other side. And what my prerogative is, is to keep him welding and keep him going so I get the most out of Aiden in a bed. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this off.
Try not to hit anything. Try not to hit anything. There we go. There we go. And that didn't hurt nothing. I can just knock that off. Take my time. I don't want to knock off any more metal on the car, but I want to take that off. I'll just knock that off with a sand and wheel. Go easy. Never heard a bet. Huh? Never heard a bet. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take the door off. The hinge, I think, we have it figured out, but we do not have the hinge. So I'm going to have to make. Um, when I make it, we'll show it. We'll get some stuff and we'll show it. But until then, I'm going to search around for something that I like. I'm going to take the door off. I know I have hinges for the hood, or I'm thinking I do, I'm thinking I have hinges for the hood, so I'll just carry on with that, um, door's not bad, I'm happy with that, looks good, looks good, ah. and it is, a, and it is a good, good hefty door, so, you know, I'm going to need, I'm going to need help with that, I'm happy with all that, I have to finish welding that on the inside, but I'm happy with the way it looks all the way around the edge, very happy, happy with this in here too, looks very good don't want to take all the metal off I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna measure across I'm gonna cut a piece of square stock try to get that hood hinged so we're actually building a two-story car and we're hinging all the doors differently than than normal and that takes time especially when it's never been done before or I haven't done it before I haven't done it before. I need a measuring tape. I gotta get back up and get that. Silly me. That feels pretty good to climb on. Doesn't hurt my my butt at all when I go in that thing. Like not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna stand up and drive it. Alrighty, I'm just going to get in here. Woo, that light's taking me out. I'm going to set that right there so I can see what's going on. Uh, perfect. Now, this is the cow in the hood. Run a piece from there. Check this bad boy. See if this works or not. Alrighty. Cool. That never worked before until I sprayed it with that stuff. Cool. Well, there's another one for crown. Uh, well done. Alright, so that tells me when it's up where the bar can be. I think it's right in the way. I think that could be cut off. I don't think that means anything, this right here, to be honest with you. This piece right here, I think it would be cut off a little bit if I had to. But you have a handle in there. Alrighty. We're going to run across here then. And a bar across here. Looks like it would be better anyways. Ah. Wow. Bend that straight. Say 43 inches. Basically what I want to do, this is our hinge here. I already tried it for the door. Does not work. Put it in like that. Doesn't go back all the way. If 
that would be inside the truck. The hips there. I've tried it three or four times, trying to see it works like. So what's going to happen is I'm going to mount a piece of square stock across from there to there. I'm going to weld that square stock on here and there. We'll get them both straight and then we'll make this piece here reach the hood to take it up and out, hopefully. Uh, all, this, all this hinge stuff is for the engineers at, uh, at the car manufacturers. And uh, right now, that's what we're turning into. We have to turn into an engineer every once in a while to try to figure it out. And I do it all by mistake and, what's that called? Uh, trial and error. That's how I do it all, by trial and error. And there's no other... I, 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 I really feel... I'm going to get a piece of square stocks back in here first and see, see what happens here with that first. See, I'm thinking that square stock might have to be, hmm, I might have to make it a little shorter. I might not be able to go across there. Two feet. I'm going to make a piece two feet see what happens. And the reason I'm saying two feet is because I want to get in front of that, the air conditioner. I want to get in front of the air conditioner. Two Just a piece of square stock, that's all I need. inch would probably fit the try it Is he doing a good job? Well, sure he is. Oh. So basically, I get this cut, get these on there. The faster I get this mounted up, get the hood open, um, that means that Aiden will have a place to go to weld. And that would be the underneath of the hood, or weld the underneath the hood, the hood and the part where it opens. That's what he can weld. So I've got this on here. piece Be there yeah and I did go looking for hinges and that's a hard thing to find you can find a door hinge oh yeah sure but then you have to modify it and uh, haven't found it yet now This is what I have to see if I can get that up in there. Nope. Nope. So, how much shorter is it going to be? Huh. If I took them all of that right there, that'd be nice. There we go. Look at this like that. Woo -hoo. Ouch. Hurt my back. I'm gonna get a marker out of my pocket. Alrighty, I'm just gonna get up in there. 
what I'm trying to do is I have to see where the square stock can fit without messing with my air conditioner. Now I'm saying that, that that's that's a piece of metal I can get from the cow that welds to the cow up there. That's the straightest piece I can get in there without messing with the air conditioner. Now I have to have that as close as possible, I'm thinking, with these hinges to to make them work. Cool. There's the mark. This piece here, I can make this any size I want to. Yes, I can. I can put it underneath there. And that has to go up to, and this part has to go to the hood. So when I weld this to the cow, this piece of this hinge is going to have to go on here, and then I'm going to have to make a bracket to go under the hood. And as I get looking at it, I'm only this long, so the hinges are going to be one here and one there. Does not matter if it's hinged. In the middle, does not matter. I'm just going up. Long as it has two, I'm, I'm thinking. Long as it has two, two hinges would be nice. Be better than one. I'm going to cut this off. Cut this off. There it is, right there. This is my gas that's going up in there, two hinges on it, and then, then we have the center of the hood where we put this piece in. When we put that piece in on the center of the hood, it's still there. There's two pieces of metal that come in and turn down where it used to hinge together, so that's a nice place maybe to, to uh, fasten the, the brackets on. We'll see. I'm not sure. Now, I have to see if that piece fits in there. Yes, it does. See how it fits in there, sweetheart? See where I got it? I've got it just in on the side here. I can weld it on the cowl on this side. Weld it in on the cowl this side. I'm in front of the air conditioner. I can weld it to the front mount of that. So that secures that very nice. So the hinges will be not will not be on the on the outside of the hood, not going to do that. Um, haven't got anything for that. I'm not going to try to make that. Not going to do any of that. Going to, I, what I see is here, this will mount up in there. I'm going to somehow mount that there. We'll have two mounts like this. However, we can do it. We'll get a flat piece to go across the hood right here. There's a nice piece right here. See this nice piece coming down here? I can weld a nice flat piece across here and then maybe make a bracket. I can bolt these two. Open. Uh, should be able to. What I'm going to do is, is, uh, bup, 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 bup. I'm going to take this and look at this one more time. I know that fits in there. I'm going to take a look. Hmm. I want to get it right up in there, I think. So I can weld that to underneath the cow. Yes, I can. that right to the side of the center. I can bolt that right to the center of the hood on each side. Like, you know, see how that piece is hanging down right there? That could be my bolt down piece on that side. All right. I have to come up with something very quickly. I think that I, I probably should weld that in first, probably. 
And then I can connect the hinge to it. Aiden, you want you want a you want a a bed me doing this? Aiden in the bed, you want to help me do this? Sure. Awesome. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult getting into. You're going to have to maybe grab a. Yeah, you'll be all right. You're going to use that welder. You bring your helmet over. I'm going to get underneath the hood and hold things, and I'm going to ask you to tack things. That's basically about it. And if you can't get at something, you just say so, and we'll make make it move so you can get at it. Um, I had one glove here. Do I have another glove there. Get past me another glove there, please. No problem. So we'll turn that welder on. Um, Give me your ground. Give me your your live. Your ground's hooked up. That's fine. Leave your ground right there. That's fine. That'll give you your ground. Just want to make sure that you got enough in here. Yeah, you should be good. Uh, come on up in here somehow. I'm gonna get in here. I'm getting in the engine compartment. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah, this is what I'm. This is what I'm thinking. I just turned my sound on, good baby, so we should be fine. Open not. Alrighty. I'm thinking. If you can give me a like a just just give me like a spot of weld there to hold that up in the air. Just one second, just one second. I'm gonna get centered. I'm gonna get centered. I'm gonna get centered. Alright, just just give me a maybe a I wanna be able to get it off too, you know what I mean? In the center. Yeah, give me one in this corner. Just one in that corner if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little one if you can. Ouch. Go ahead. Good. Good. Awesome. Let's go to the other side, please. Try to stay in that center floor piece here. Yeah, go ahead. Just fold it in. Just so I can get it out of there, if you know what I'm trying to say. If I had to cut it off. Now, you got the hinges below your feet there. Yeah. yeah. See what's going to go on this. I'm just looking and just taking a look here for a second. Just taking a look here for a second. See, that could be tacked on the front of that. See, I can cut them off and put them on. Put, see, I can cut this off. Like, obviously, this piece can be done whenever you want to. I can cut it off and, and put it on the face of that and weld on the back side of that. I can do it that way. Or I can cut it off and weld on the face side, do it that way. Uh, I just have to figure out. And that bracket will go up. See, this will go up and hit. One will go here. You got the other one there? Actually. So I have two hinges. Go like this. Lift the hood up. You know what I'm trying to say. If I do it that way. Geez, that don't look bad, does it? A nice piece there between the center. And, hmm. Hard to hold it up. Alrighty, I'm gonna get you to tack it then. Um. You'll be hard, tack, hard press attack that, won't you? Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sit over here in the middle. Oh, don't know if I turn my mic off or not, baby. I'm sorry. Hard to do. I just, I just want to get it in there straight, and I don't think it's in there straight. To be honest with you. There's one. I don't think one does it justice, does it? What? 
One doesn't do it justice, I don't think, but it fits in there. Some nice in the middle there. It fits right, perfect, right inside there. I could weld that right in there. That fits in there so perfect that, wow. Need two? I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of this, this hole here. And uh, I'm going to cut these off. Do you want to try to cut one? Sure. All righty then. He wants to try to cut one. Let's hope everything don't fall apart here. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Jesus. Huh? No, I just dropped the plastic shim that goes in there. Take that, and that, and that, and that. And there's one more shim that's got to go with you. And I'm going to give it to you here in a second. I got to get it here in a second. I got to find it. All right. Now, see how the shim goes? Goes in between the. Okay. So we'll put that down there. You're more than welcome to jump out. We'll cut these two things. And then we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. We've got to cut them. Alrighty. I suppose I could have just plans to cut them off. You've got one there, have you? Um, all right, I'll give it you put back together. I'll snip them off real quick then. Your hinge part's in there. I'll snip this off quick, and then I'll give it to you. How's that? I'll do it, I guess. Or else I got nothing to do. Your other part of the hinge is inside. That off of there. You got gloves on. Put your, you might be able to put it back. Your gloves on. Maybe not. She on, sweetheart. Just gonna round this corner off. A little bit hot. A little bit. You can put that back together. So the washer's got to go in there. The washer's got to go in there inside that thing before you put that back together somehow. That washer's got to go in there. In between. Yeah. So you might, I don't know if you need your gloves or not, but this is how it goes. So if you want to know. So the, uh, the welded part. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Yeah. No, but you have to put this through first. And then that's gotcha. Yeah. Then then you have to have a rubber washer on the other end. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Might leave this one together and do that. Make it I don't know easier or not, but Nope. Not making it easier, that's for sure. Get it back together, no problem. Or are you working on it? Okay, because that means I'm going to take this. Ouch! I'm going to take this one apart. That was hot. Plastic thing, plastic thing. There 
vice grips. This stuff's a bit awkward when you start making things like this. It's pretty hard to, you know, uh, it's, it's a little different than cutting a patch panel and putting a piece on a metal and welding it on. Uh, this is a little different. so good at it I'll get you to put this one back together it's, it is a little hot so I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna go in there and play around with that this one's still hot okay I'm just gonna go and play around a little bit take it in there and see what it looks like right take it in there and see what it looks like Once it's hooked on, or once the, the, the hinge is hooked to the hood, it should be able to, should be able to cut it free. Um, that's what I'm thinking. It should be able to cut it free. Now we can weld the hinge on. No problem whatsoever. Okay, we haven't got the piece in the way. We can weld on front or back. Ooh, I, like, I think I like it on the front better because you see less. And it gets a little tighter. That's pretty good. Then we're gonna have to get we got these pieces here. We can screw on here or do whatever we have to do. So this piece here can weld on our square stock. Slide right in there while it's there. So. And then this stuff here find a way how to connect it to the hood and then up it will go it's just like that I see no problem with that whatsoever as long as it's hinged here we'll have a hinge here they'll both be hidden the only time you'd ever see it when it's open and when it's open you always see hinges and if it's two in the two in the in the middle I, I can't see what's the difference of having it on either side cannot see the difference hot eating Ooh, come on in, man. Um, turn your welder on. Ah. We're just kind of, we just kind of got, got that spotted in there for right now. Yeah, obviously. You, you, can, can you see that? To, if I, can you see that? To, can, or can I see that to weld it if I tried to after a bit? Yeah. Okay, no problem at all. Even on that side, no problem at all. I could weld, you could weld that there, no problem there if you had to. Right yeah, across there. Okay, good. Because I'm just looking at the front. I could weld up in there and make that cross there, tack that there, tack that across there. I just want to make sure that we can get it secure. That's all. Um, ba, 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 ba. Are you able to tack this? Yeah, put your helmet on. Yeah. All right, so this, is, this is what I'm going to tell you. See, see, that, see the distance right there, how that far that distance at that's down? Yeah. Is the distance on this side the same distance down? Just about, yeah. All right, tell me when they're the same. Yeah. That looks same? Yeah. Well, that's where I'd want it welded, if you know what I'm saying. I, I, want, I want to see you weld this one here, and then I want to see us weld this one here. Does that look the same across there, does it? Okay, good. Let's, let's just tack it. Which way? Okay, well, let's see, see the distance here. Yeah, we'll tack one side, then we'll move the other side. How's that? So tack, just tack, just tack it on the corner. Go easy, just like I just wanted to tack that to the square tubing. Ouch, fuck. Jesus. 
All right. Yeah, you got me. Let's tack the other side. Let's bring this side down. Tell me when. Oh. Let's tack it again. Ah, tack better. Or is that one down about the same? Can you tack it right there somewhere? Can you see that? Yeah, right there. Yep. No, try it again. You can hit it again if you want. Yeah. Yep, try it again. That's what I do. Alrighty, now does that look straight going across there to you? Like that same distance down here, the same distance over there? Yeah, okay. Now, see that there? That's going to go here. This piece will go. And this is all stuff that we don't, you know, we're, we're trying to learn as we go. This is all stuff that we're learning. So this will go on bolt on here or weld on here or whatever. And then we'll make it, maybe we'll make a piece come down here and go underneath here and hit that where it's nice and strong, eh? Yeah. And go one there. Or we can even take it to the other side and make it a little wider if we want to. You know, if we want to bring it down there and run our piece across and go there. Let's take another hinge, grab our other hinge there. Couldn't get a piece. I wanted this is what I wanted to do when I first looked at it. I wanted to get a piece all the way across from there to there, then hook the hinge on it and have it work, but I couldn't do that with the air this is well, I call it the air conditioning, but this piece is here it interrupts the square piece going all the way across. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that with that there in the way. So what I've done is I brought it in front of it, and we're good. Can you tack that right there at that corner? Right, 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 right there at that. Just make sure that stays. Just tack it right there. Cool. That works. Yeah. You can do the other side if you can get it. If you can get it. You can get it. Yeah, and that's the best way to get it. Just jam it in there and put your wire where you're supposed to weld and go for it. Get her. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Let's let's tack another one in here. Let's tack another. Alrighty. Does it look straight all the way across? Take a look at the take a look at this and see if it looks straight all the way across. Then I'll let you tack it. If it don't, well, don't tack it. Which side are you going to tack? I think this side needs to come down. Come down a bit? Like or that can go up a little bit? Up a bit. Right. Are they the same as that one there? Just take a look and see if they all look the same. That's basically this what... This side's good. This side just needs to come down a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. Should be good. Go for it. Tack that corner and the other corner. That's my fireworks for the year. Tuck the other side. Go ahead. You're kicking ass. No worries. It's nice that you're you're able to hit it. Good. Now we're double hinged. One is a little over further than the other. So what am I thinking? That this should go, it probably should take, tug that over a little bit, shouldn't we? Huh? Yeah. And that's easy to do. We'll just take this back. We'll take this back off. I think this is tacked in nice. This the square. Square two. Square two. Maybe. We just got to come over a little bit. Or not equal. Doesn't look like we're equal this way either. Well, all right. That's our hinge system. Then we'll just. What has to happen is a square tube it's just got to go over this way just a little bit because we're over a little further on this side than we are on this side and we can tell that because of the distance we're at. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that down, try to get it down, and uh, move it over. So can I have the zip cut? Can you give me a zip cut, sweetheart? And then we'll have it right in the right spot. So all I'm going to do is just cut up here. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Uh, yay, 
can in case it falls on you. Will it fall on me or not? I don't know if I can get that in there or not. Watch your eyes, bye. Or watch yourself. Alright. I wonder if we can swing that down without... <laughs> nope. Man, he sure does throw good tacks on. <laughs> Swing away now. Just the back one. This one? That corner. Did you short track that one on, didn't you? Alright, right, still coming a second. I need a pair of maybe vice grips or something. Just twist it off. Vice grips? Yeah. Or a better set of hands, stronger set of hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, she'll come off. Yeah, just kind of just want to turn it up and down. Oof. Have that hit me in the head? So, how does how does it look now that you got it down? How does it look? Does it look like it's all even and all that sort of stuff? Like. You know what I'm trying to say. Like basically you want both sides to look the same. That's why we took it down. Let me take a look at it. It's almost like that game, you know, you look at the game. Looks good to me. That looks really good. Alright, let's put it up in there so it's so it's square. Oh, I'm gonna take that corner off just because I got a, some little pieces on there. Watch your eyeballs. What you call working in a knot hole. And also, I am using what I have. This is the hinges I have. <laughs> and this is what I'm doing to make it work. Um, this is what I'm doing to make it work. And Aiden's helping me. He's aiding in the bedding. I'm going to take a knock. Sorry, i got to do that again. I'm going to knock the little burrs of weld off up here. Make it look. Make it. get hired on as an eye doctor. I'm pretty steady. Yeah, pretty steady. I won't poke your eye out. Just once. Yeah. Uh, let's get them in there straight. All right. Now, look at that now. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas, ain't we, huh? That How's good. that look? That looks good. Who's your daddy? I know. <laughs> let's, 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 let's tack that in there. Same place as you had in there before. Looks good. Yeah. Just, oh, just a second. I'm pushing on it so damn hard and I want it to work so well. That, that look good still? Damn it, I did it again. That look good still? Still the same distance, ain't it? Yeah. Right there? Right there. Hold it. All right. Hey, he's telling me to hold it now. I love it. Just have to tack it. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've been there many times. Go the other side. Just tack it. Alrighty. No, no, you didn't get it. Got her that time? Nope. Hit her again, bruh. <laughs> is that the, is that the... Alright. This is what I want you to do. It goes in there nice, we'll build a bracket. It goes across there in the center of the hood. That'll swing out nice. Nice. Nicely done. We still get our air conditioning unit, I think. Can you, can you push that air conditioning unit up, please? Yeah, push it up. There you go. Or is it up already? Pull it down. Don't push it up. Push, push. Yeah. There you go. 
So we can get our air conditioning unit. Look at that now, would ya? Good. Pull that back down. Man, right on. Can we tack it? Let's tack it in the corners like we had it already tacked right there. Tack that corner too, please. Yeah. When the hood comes off, there's, there'll, be, there'll be a lot more fabrication. We'll put tacker in that corner too, please, again. Cool, you got her. I see that. Yeah. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make something in the middle of the hood that we can put our pieces on. So we still get our air conditioning unit. I like that. These are our pieces here. We can go either way. We can go on this side and have them go on. Or we can go on the inside and have them go on. It's whatever we want to do. I see we got a nice piece of strong metal. That's strong in the center. I think we'll build our bracket off that because that's nice and strong. And then we'll bolt it to this. We'll make something that goes up in there that we'll be able to weld there. And then we'll be able to bolt that on the side of the hood. On the hood or something, tag it to it. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So now what's going on now, we're going to have to make a bracket. Or not a bracket, a inner side, an inside construction that we can put right here, that we can put our brackets to, to make our hood fit, whatever, which way we want to. Just like that. There. Thank you very much, Aiden. I'm going to get out and uh, think about taking a piece of cardboard and making something for that. And what I'll do is I'll make a piece of cardboard, I'll cut all the pieces, I'll put it up there, tape it all together, and then I'll bring it out and make it. And then we'll put it up in there, then we'll tack it all together. And then when we have it tacked together, we can put the screws in it that we want it to work with. And then we'll untack it and go with the screws. Cool. So that's right there. I guess that's how we figured out how to uh, do the hood. Um, I might yet. Jeez. Ah, everything's so sharp, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to get in a tetanus shot next. Uh, everything is so close and so tight, but now that we have that hinge system set up in there, so we know where we're going, once I get that connected to the hood, once I get that, I actually probably could take the hood off and make the piece upside down, make the hood where I can see it, and then connect that to it after, because I can draw where the hinge is, or I can mark it where the hinge is underneath, and we might even do that, but you're gonna have to come back tomorrow and see. When you come back tomorrow, you can probably see us cut the hood off. And uh, this bottom has, we'll turn the hood upside down to weld the edge of that. Because heat's going where? Heat's going up. So we'll turn the hood upside down. All the heat can come up. And on this, we'll have, we're at the top. So we'll just go all the way around that and try to keep the air to it and keep it warm. Or keep it cool. But we have the hood hinge sort of figured out, I think. That was pretty good, I guess. I mean, nothing much more I can do. I want... I want to have the hood come up. I haven't got the original hood hinges. I don't know. They wouldn't work because we've widened it. Uh, we're putting these sides on. Uh, yeah, they flipped. They did a butterfly before. There was no hinges on it before anyways. It did a butterfly, so there was no hinges at all before. It was just butterfly in the center. What a smart way to do things, eh? Um, now we got to make hinges and door locks, and they just had a hinge, or just had a, a hinge in the middle and a little lock on the side and how much more would you want than that but as we progress we always try to make things a little more difficult and I'm going back to making it trying to make it easy again <laughs> that's basically what I'm doing so as we hinged it in the center you can see how it's going to work we're going to have to secure that square tubing that we have in there that's going to... I don't know what that was but whatever we got that square tubing in there we're Uh, we'll get that square tubing in there. We're going to have to weld that along there and weld along the front, weld the front of this hinge in there. We're going to do a few things like that. We just got them put in place there for now. Uh, we're going to have to make something go across there so we can hook these to it. Um, when the hood picks up, I think the two, hinge, two hinges should be fine to pick that up and then come back down. We'll pin the front. We're moving in the right direction. Thanks, everybody. Are we giving away a hat or a shirt? Jolene bring up the computer. We're giving away a hat or a shirt. I want to thank Aiden for doing a good job in there. Help me out. Sometimes, you know, you get in a spot like that. Um, you have to rely on the person tacking. If you don't get it tacked, well, it can, can bugger you out. Uh, where's the computer at? All righty. Aiden, you are free and allowed to do whatever you like. No, that's not true. 
Um, the door needs welding. <laughs> I'm just joking with him. I'm just joking with him. He's doing a good job. You're keeping a good pace too, eh? I like that you're keeping a good pace. It means something that you're keeping a good pace. It means that I have to work up work to keep ahead of you. Well, that's what I like. You know, if you're if you're not pushing me, um, that means that we're slowing down. When you're welding, I'm trying to get it done. That means I'm trying to get you a welding project, see? Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This one was a hard one. We're trying to figure out something. And it's hard to make a video of you trying to figure out something, but there you go. 650 comments. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Al Snow. Al Snow. That's a lot of work on the door. Good thing you didn't build a four door. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Listen, that's why a lot of people don't build four doors because it's one, two more doors that you got to fix. That's very true. That's why I cut it in half. Well, not exactly. I wanted just the small door and I want the back window. But that's why a lot of people don't build four doors because it's two more doors work. Uh, it is a lot of work on the door. It's going good though. I mean, I just welded it up, got it welded around the edges. It does not fit perfectly by no means. I see myself cutting it up here and, and butt welding it back together again because it doesn't have a nice gap up the front. I see other places that I want to fix too. I'm, I'm going to have to probably weld the bottom all along again. I'm going to have to because I need more off it. I've already welded it up once. But what I am doing is I'm just taking my time and putting a, put a spot of weld on it. And as I go, the door is coming good. It's going good. Um, Al Snow, you've won a hat or a shirt of your choice. Um, you know, all you have to do is contact Jolene, give her your information, you'll get that. I'm happy with what's going on there. Uh, I, I'm sure that's going to work. Let's face it, when we pick the hood up, we're going to be working on it. I'm thinking about doing an electric ram in the front so we can press a button, the hood will come up and then come back down. Um, the hinge is more or less to let it swing. Um, where we've got two on it, I'm hoping that it's going to give it the the strength of this I don't want that going on you know your hood moving back and forth we should be fine once we weld that in nice and solid that's what we'll do and then we'll go from there we might even cut the hood off flip it upside down and make that piece I'll just go inside there and mark it where it has to go and then we can come outside flip it upside down make a little square box make something that looks nice and then we'll connect our hinges to it we'll weld our hinges up while we got the hood off all right everybody thanks for watching and that's how we think on camera